what is going on everybody dj minds here and in today's video we all know 2022 is right around the corner i get asked all the time dj what graphics cards are you looking for which one's the best which one's the worst let's find out in this video right now before we get too deep into it i would appreciate if you'd like this video and consider subscribing we're almost at 3,000 subscribers and i want to be very clear this is not financial advice i'm not telling you go out and buy any of these graphics cards this is my personal opinion you might completely have a different opinion you might hate my list and that is is perfectly fine but definitely let me know what you think is better or worse than what i'm gonna rank everything i created this entire list by myself it took me like an hour hour and a half so if you're ever a youtuber and you want this list i can send you a link but fair warning anything you do changes it for everybody i'm trying to figure that out so i can't give it out to every single person but if you are a youtuber and you want to change this list feel free to let me know great video idea for 2022 so let's go over the rules real quick the rankings s this is the best of the best you guys know a is really good in school like this is usually the best no the s tier is like man i would buy this in 2022 this is the greatest thing since sliced bread a is really really great b is good like very good c is it it's upper middle like av upper average d is like lower mid kind of e is avoid and f is do not buy this this thing is terrible so to go over the gpus we have the 10 series up here and then i added the titan x as well the 20 series on this line and then the titan x the rx 400 and 500 series here and then we have the 1600 series then we start going to the 5000s for amd the 6000s the ever so popular workstation cards the a series down here and then finally nvidia cards 3000 series the newest of the new now we're just going to put everything in the corner we're going to do this one by one i'm actually really excited to see what you guys have to say on this because some of the cards i've never used and i don't own so it's really word of mouth but i made sure to not google it i don't want to google it i feel like that's kind of cheating one other thing that's really important we're going to treat everything as lhr if it's currently being manufactured as lhr so for example the 3060 it wouldn't be fair to be like oh version version one versus version two no we're just going to say it's currently version two which is lhr and that's what we're going with so what is first here we got the 1060 okay 1060 now remember guys this is 2022 am i going to be buying this would i buy a 1060 absolutely not for me no i would avoid this no that's a d class for me so yeah we're not doing 1060s at all on my channel 2060 super now, mind you, would I buy this approaching 2022? We got Ethereum merge coming up. If the price was right, I probably would buy the 2060 Super, but it'd have to be the price is right. Okay, Radeon 7. This is a card that a lot of people love. I've never had this. I've, the only thing I've really seen is Red Panda talk about how much he hates the card because it does something bad. But I do know it's really strong. Even though it has its problems, I believe it's 100 mega hash without looking it up. So I would go with that. I would. I think that's a good solid card. So 2070. Ooh, I do like the 2070. I'm, I'm going to make this a B class right now. And I might end up changing some of these. Let's see. 6800 XT. For me, this is like now i'm not going off of just performance here guys on the 6800 xt decision i just have no interest in this at all uh, i don't see myself ever buying that i don't want that for any situation unless it was like dirt cheap the rx 480 Ooh, i believe is it four gig or eight gig i don't know uh i don't see me buying this at all this is like the, not very high on my list though for sure the rx 480 is not really up there 6900 xt for me no absolutely not i'm gonna put that on e and again i'm not basing that one off of just performance or anything i i have no interest the price is ridiculous no i will not be buying a 6900 xt under any circumstance rtx 2080 i'm gonna put this in the middle right now yeah i have a 2080 super yeah super and it's okay the titan x oh man i remember this i'm trying to remember was this the first titan I feel like these were the first Titans, right? When the 10 series were coming out. I remember I was trying to get like a 1080 back in the day. The Titan X, absolutely not. I would not buy this. The only reason that I would buy a Titan X, to be honest with you, is for like a photo shoot. But I have no interest in buying a Titan X whatsoever. The GTX 1070 Ti. No, I might even have to move this with the ease, to be honest with you. We'll come back to these two. But 10 series are not anything I care about right now. No way. Uh, the 3070 LHR. Okay. I love this card. This is a great card that might get upgraded to A, but I'm trying to keep the A's for the best of the best. Oh, I don't know. Oh, that's up there. I'm going to put this a B and a half right now. We'll see how I feel that about that later. The 5700 XT. I like this card a lot. I think mine's getting like 55 mega hash, give or take. So this is a really great card for Ethereum. That being said, you know, Ethereum's going to go away 
potentially in 2022. So would I buy it, right? Again, it's not just about performance. Yeah, I know it's incredible, but would I buy this? I am going to say I still probably would buy it just in case the merge, but it it's it's a B. I'd have to give it a B because I love this card, but you know, I don't know if I would continue to buy too much. The 6700 XT. I believe people were saying this is a sleeper. It was either that or the 6800. I'm trying to remember. Oh, I might have messed up here with the 6800. See, I've never owned these two. One of these is a sleeper that people like don't want to tell you about kind of thing. Uh, if the price was right, yeah, I would buy it. You know, C is average, guys. Not even that bad, but 2070, super. I've heard nothing but really good things. I heard this is a big sleeper. Am I going to look to buy it? Oh, God. This is a B for now. I might have to move that. The 2060, um, yeah, I would buy it. I would put that probably in the C, though. It's not like a big thing for me. Maybe. I might even downgrade that to D later. The Titan RTX. Same thing with the other Titan. This thing, <laughs> yeah, I have quite literally no interest unless it's for a photo shoot. Like, I would definitely buy a rig for that. The GTX 1050. Would I buy this card? Absolutely not. Under no circumstance... That is a terrible card. Awful. Because the 1060 is not bad. I had a 1060. And it, the difference between 1060 and 1050 Ti is embarrassing. No. Absolutely not. Under no circumstance. The 6700 XT. Ooh. Again, this is where I get confused because I've never owned these four cards with the 6000 series. Um, and I know one of them is a sleeper. I just don't know which one. So I'll put this on C. We'll come back to that. Maybe. The GTX 1080 Ti. Absolutely not. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't like any of the 10 series right now. Um, now for Flux, they're really good. I have definitely seen that. So if like I was going for Flux, that might be like in between D and C, but I'm not huge on Flux at the moment. So probably not. 1660, super. Oh, absolutely. I'm buying that. That's an A class right now. Ooh, ooh, A, B right now. We'll put that in the middle. I'll come back to that. The 6800, absolutely not. I have no interest at all in this card. The 3060, great card. I love this little card. I think mine are 100 to 110 watts for like 34, 35 mega hash. Maybe some of them are 36. That's a good card. I would I would buy more of those. Absolutely. The GTX 1070. No, no, no 10 series for me, man. I'm, I have no interest in these cards. Uh, the RX 570. I would put that C right now, but maybe C and D. You know, it's kind of the same with the 480 there. Like they're so old and it's about to be a new year and then we're going to get new cards, but they're really good still. So C is still a solid grade, to be honest. 470, you can't just put them all on C, right? So 1660 Ti, great card. I'll put that in B for now. Great card, very efficient. I would buy that card, absolutely. The RX 580, Uh, yeah, great card. I'm going to put that BC right now. I don't have any of these, but I would love to have some of those. The A6000. Ooh, man. I've seen some reviews on it. It's an incredible. But again, we're not just going off of performance. Would I buy it? Would I buy the A6000? To be honest with you, I think this card is like $5,000 or something. Uh, absolutely not. I would not buy this card. Probably under any circumstance. So I'm going to put this at D because I'm not paying that. No way. Uh, we have the A5000. I would put that at C. Um, I love my A4000. Maybe under the right circumstance, I'd buy the A5000, but probably not, to be honest with you, just because, you know, it's Ethereum's going away, so that's too much money. The 3080. Oh, this is a great card. I've been loving this card. I'm going to put it A for now, but I need to think on this for a second. Okay, it's not the most efficient by far, but it's really good still. All my 3080s are getting like 75, 76 mega hash. Really good on other graphics cards or uh, other algorithms as well. Yeah, we're going to leave it on A. That's a solid ass card. Uh, 6600. That's a good card. I like the 6600 XTs for sure. I'll come back to this one. I'll put that as a B right now. Very solid grade. I like that card. The 5700. I would just stick with the XTs. So for now, I'm going to throw that in the C pile. But we'll come back to that. The 6900, I have no interest in this card. It's too expensive. There's a reason it's sitting on shelves. I don't see myself buying that really at all. The 2080 Super. I've heard really good things about the TI because I have a Super. My Super's okay. Would I actually buy this though? Probably not. Probably not. It's a good card, but I don't think I would buy that card. I would buy the TI, if anything, for that one. The GTX 1080. No, absolutely not. No, not at all. I don't want anything to do with 10 series. 
uh the 6600 xt Ooh, this might get upgraded now, if you don't know anything about the 6600 xt it's probably the second or third most efficient card that card is phenomenal i have a rig of those love that little card the 1660 non-ti are super uh again not based off of performance there's no chance i would buy that 1660 no the a4000 Ooh, i have a rig of these going right now all mine are getting 63 mega hash 62 63 and a half absolutely i would buy this but the price would have to be right so i'm gonna put that b and a half right now i might come back to that one rtx 2080 ti yes i would actually be very open to buying that card absolutely um but i'm not gonna go out of my way for it the a2000 oh yeah that's easy that's that's easy man okay so if the a2000 is there this has to be Ooh, you know what i have to downgrade that to an a the reason i have to downgrade this to an a right now the 6600 xt this is tough because the price is stupid like if the price was better yeah but i can get a better priced a2000 to be honest with you about the same and it's it's probably 30 percent more hash rate and lower wattage um but it depends on the algorithm of course so i think anonymous meyer saying he really liked it on raven 3080 ti oh man would i actually buy this i don't think i would really buy it. i'd probably put that on like c it's a it's a good solid card do i want it would i really put up the money i'd probably just buy a 3090 to be honest with you i don't i don't think i would buy a 38 ti I might come back to that one. That's that's probably in like the C area. The 3070 Ti. This is a good, strong, solid card. Definitely a B card. And I might even have to upgrade this 3070, which is kind of in the middle there. The 3060 Ti. Absolutely. I love these cards. I love everything about this card. This is one of my favorite cards. Again, that would be LHR, but that's perfectly fine. The 3090. This one's really tough for me because with Ethereum, you love this card. It's got like this massive advantage, you know, 300 watts, even 270 watts. Would I continue to buy these with the merge with, with potentially, you know, this big ice age coming? I would buy a couple, but I don't think I would go all out. I really don't see myself going all out on like a 3090 farm. I don't think that's a smart move at all. It would definitely have the resale value, but I would put that in a B. It's a good card, but it's not high on my list. Remember, S is like God tier. A is like really great. And B is really good too. Is there anything we can upgrade on our priority? See, this is tough because the 3070 and the A4000 are like pretty much the same thing within reason. But I'd rather have a 3070 long term. So I'm going to leave 3070 up there. I'm sorry, A4000. I love you. You're a great card, but we got to take the 3070 over the A4000. All right. As far as the 3060, great card. Yeah. So let's just look at it one more time. So I think I'm good on B. All right. C3080 Ti. I, again, I just wouldn't buy that card. 2080 Super. Uh, I wouldn't buy that card. I, I might buy that card actually, but I wouldn't pay a lot for it. The Arc 480 if it's a decent price i would 2060 super i might i think that's similar somebody was saying to like the 2070 but i i don't think i would to be honest i'm just being realistic with myself here i don't see myself buying that the 6700 xt so we're gonna leave that and see i think that's fair the 6700 yeah i would probably leave that there the 2060 the 12 gig i probably would do like c and a half but um since i don't think those are out yet or you can't really get them i wouldn't put that there 570 you know these older cards man they're not really for me i'm not i'm not into them that much um the 580 is in the middle like i would buy that for sure but i think 570 is very similar right but i, I think the the eight just does something to your mind psychologically the a5000 the price would have to be like really good but i know it's a great card so i think I, i'm good with c d is pretty much all the 10 series like the only way I would buy these is, I don't know, it's like so, so cheap, man. It'd have to be basically free. I wouldn't really buy any of these cards. Uh, the 1660, absolutely not under no circumstance. The 1080 Ti, 6800, would not buy that. I have no interest. The 1070, the 6800 XT, I might regret putting that in D, but no, I, I'm not paying those prices. 470, no. And the 6900, no. So for the E, these are like, hell no, I'm not buying any of these. Uh, no, neither of these. The prices are stupid. The Titan X, no come on dude the titan rtx no <laughs> just for a photo shoot and the gtx 1050 absolutely not one last look at the s and a absolutely the a2000 is the king of all kings you can't put more than one up there i'd say like two or three is fair 6600 on priority list Ooh, is there a AS minus plus thing i don't know uh yeah i think this is fair so my number one would probably be a 2000s then i'd go with the 3080 6600 xt 3060 ti and 3070s these are all efficient cards except for the 3080 but you know i gotta do some diversity in there so i probably would still stick with that the 3080 just in the right situation for me
that's a fun little video for you guys i hope you did enjoy it it was it was a lot of work to make that that little chart there and uh like i said guys if you're ever interested in your youtube or something and you want that link you know i can only give it out to so many people because i'm pretty positive if you change it, it changes it for other people so you know something cool but yeah, hopefully you like this video or this helps you make up your mind, but not financial advice. Never listen to anything I have to say, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Please join the Discord, consider subscribing, hit that like, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.